everyone. My name is Hannah Wenlin and I'm currently a junior at MLC studying to be a teacher. And today what I'm going to be showing you how to paint is a pumpkin patch. So what I have here is a piece of green construction paper, some orange paint, some green paint, and then a sharpie for some details at the end. And all you need to paint are your fingers. So first we're going to take our pointer fingers and get some of the green paint on there. And we're going to be making some hills where our pumpkins will sit on. So you can start by just making a line anywhere on the page. I'm starting at the middle. And we're just going to make some hills that are going to make up our pumpkin patch. So let's make some hills across the page. You could use a lighter green if you wanted to. I used a, a darker color green. And I'm going to make about three different hills on my page. So there's one. Let's make my second one. It's a little smaller coming out of the middle. So it looks like it's more in the distance. And don't worry if it's not perfect. This is just a fun little project that you can do anytime that you want. And let's do one more little one over here. One more little hill. And then we're going to move on to the pumpkins. So how we're going to make our pumpkins is we are going to put together these four fingers, so on our knuckles right here, and we're going to dip these in paint. So when these are dipped in paint, it kind of looks like a pumpkin. So get all these four fingers in the paint, nice and painted, and then you can put them anywhere on the page. Make sure they stick nicely. So this is what it looks like. So it looks like a pumpkin. So you can put as many or as few pumpkins as you like. I'm gonna put quite a bunch because this is a pumpkin patch over here. What you can also do is after you've put these big pumpkins on here, you could put a couple little pumpkins because maybe you all you want to do is um, pick a little pumpkin from the pumpkin patch. And we're going to make sure I have a lot of pumpkins in mine. Wipe off some green paint. And I'll do one more. One more big pumpkin right in the middle. And then maybe I'll put a few little pumpkins. So you're going to take your thumb and dip it in the paint just like this so that it's all covered like that. And then you can put a few little pumpkins. Just a couple little pumpkins everywhere. And then we're gonna add some details to our pumpkins. So pumpkins usually have stems at the top. So we're gonna take our Sharpie markers and we're gonna draw a stem on the top of the pumpkin and then usually they have a little twirly vine coming out so you can draw the little twirly vine so this is what mine looks like right now i have all my pumpkins and there's the pumpkin where i drew the stem so i'm gonna draw a couple more stems on my other pumpkins to show you stem and a vine Another stem and a vine. And then once the paint is all dry, you could even add some more ridges. But our fingers help make some of the ridges on the pumpkins. So, stem and a vine. Stem and a vine. You can even add stems to the little pumpkins. Little stem and lid vine. And you can always add more pumpkins if you feel like you don't have enough pumpkins in your patch. And if you want, you could also make a moon in the sky with some yellow paint. You could make some bats in the sky with some bat paint if you wanted. But this is my finished pumpkin patch for you. So have fun creating. Don't worry if it's not perfect because it's all about having fun. Thank you for watching.